Well, I thought I'd show a video of me tearing down my 55 gallon. It's a sad day. The reason I'm tearing it down though is because there's a leak right here in the corner. And the small leak, let me see if I can focus. Yeah. It's a small leak, but if I push it, you can see the water. Oh, of course, it's there's no water now, but uh, yeah, I noticed it was leaking, and uh, it's a real slow leak, so at least I've got time. I definitely wasn't prepared for something like this. Uh, the guys at Petco, the manager, actually was nice enough to let me turn it back in since I've only had it for about I was a little close to two months, so. I finally, I went through all the pains of having uh, this tank set up where I was, uh, you know, I had lost fish, I had ick, I uh, went through a lot of shit, <laughs> to put it mildly, and uh, of course the, another thing that, it's like, it's like the heavens are aligning against me, it's like they won't, don't want me to collect, uh, to keep fish. Now the tank's leaking, so I'm like, huh, has my fish keeping days uh, ended already? I don't think so. They're not going to beat me this easily. But uh, let me kind of show you what I'm doing. I've been siphoning out, uh, this thing's faster than you think. I was going to say slowly, but uh, it's pretty fast. And I've been draining it into this... Uh, garbage can that I bought today. It's a 32 gallon, nothing fancy. But I wanted to keep the water, obviously, for obvious reasons, uh, so I can put it back in there when I get the new tank uh, tomorrow. And that way they hopefully can, you know, go right back to being beautiful tank. But uh, I thought I'd put this on video since I... It's probably, hopefully, the last time, only time I'll do this. Um, the only thing left really in here is uh, my mystery snail, which I just haven't uh, taken out yet, put in the other tank, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, actually, I have the other residents, there's some very small fry in here, but they've been like almost impossible to catch. I've tried for the last two days. Oh, there's one right there, look. I don't know if you can see him. Oh, I think I just scared him. Oh, there he is. So, I mean, I think unfortunately they're going to be casualties of this uh, tank leak. I just simply can't uh, catch them all. I mean, they're <laughs> they they're so camouflaged. I mean, I've got here. I'll show you the other tank right now. Oh, this also I'm putting some, uh, I had some empty, uh, water, you know, water gallon things. They're five gallons each. And so I've been collecting water in there as well. So hopefully with the 32, if I do my math right, 32 plus five is 37 plus five is what, 43? So I don't know, 42. I'm not good at math. Uh, when I watch this back, I'll be like, God, I'm so stupid. But anyway, so I've got some uh, water bottles there. And it's been pretty easy, though, because I've, I've been taking them straight from there. And this is already has water in there as well from last night when I was catching the fry. So this is water directly from that tank. So hopefully the adjustment is, you know, easy. I just kind of threw some of the decorations. Don't mind these uh, neon ones. I did not have that in the other tank. I did have some of this up here. Um, some pothos, which I found out look really cool in the tank. You can see, like, that's real, obviously. But, uh, yeah, there's... Gosh, I wish you could... I mean, there's so many fry. What happened was I uh, had an ick outbreak in that other tank, in the big tank. And unfortunately, like a lot of my loaches, I, I dosed it with some ick uh, treatment. I don't, I'm not going to give the name of it, uh, you know. But uh, 
my fish, uh, like my lo I had like six loaches in there, and they all died. You know, this hobby is very expensive. You learn the hard way a lot, a lot of ways. But uh, so I turned the the heat up also to like about eighty, almost eighty four degrees, and these mollies and platies just started having sex. Like they thought it was summertime, you know, uh, and they, you know. The, so the fry just went out of control. I mean, I could, it's hard to tell how many babies there are in this thing, but and they are everywhere. Look at them all up there. See them? <laughs> so those are all the ones I managed to rescue yesterday. So I, I took the fry out yesterday so that I could kind of get a head start so it wouldn't take me too long today to drain all that water and then take the, you know, the molly, the big mollies. Look at that, that, that was a baby not too long ago. Look how big he is now. But uh, to take the big molly, look, at, those are all babies. They're just big. They look like as big as their parents almost. Like, their parents are hiding over here. <laughs> Oh, they're all, they're eating all the food off the ground there. I had to put, uh, for the baby fry, I had a, this measuring glass right here. And what I do is put it in the water and then put a shrimp pellet. I don't know if I can show the brand or whatever, but I put these shrimp pellets, like just one at a time into the, into here and then put it down like sideways and wait till, till the baby fry got in it, and then I'd scoop it up really quickly and then dump it in this tank. And I figured that would be less traumatizing than, you know, trying to catch them in a net or, you know, whatever. And it seems, I mean, I tried that uh, before, before. I had a, a breeder's box, and I tried that method before, and it, it worked very well. So that's, uh, see, these are, that's my favorite plant right there. He's almost solid white. He's the male. So he's, I'm sure he's the father of all these little red, if I can catch them, I don't know where they are. <clears throat> See them, the red ones, back there. What's funny too, I noticed that the molly fry, the little ones were so easy to catch. The ones that gave me a hard time were these little, the red platy ones. They were hard as heck to catch in, in the measuring cup. So I finally, I did net those guys. But the ironic thing is that the, the big platies were the easiest thing to catch in that tank. The big, the big ones, like with a net. And the mollies were so darn, golly, like they are fast and very hard to catch. Look how big those guys are. And those are their babies over there. See them? There's at least like eight or nine of those little babies. But anyways, um... So I'm going to finish doing the tank, tear down, and uh, I might post something else. I don't know. Got to get the gravel out. Still a long night. And uh, all right. Talk to you later.